Step one, jack up the car and remove the wheels. We need to disconnect the sway bar from the lower control arm. So you're gonna use a 16 millimeter and a five millimeter hex Allen key. And you're gonna remove the end link from the arm right here. Use a 17 millimeter, remove the bolt on the front here. Here's the door. So the one that faces the forward of the car, remove that with a 17 mil. To get the back bolt on the control arm, it's in here. So we need to go around removing all these 10 millimeter bolts and these clips all the way across. Um, and that way we can get it down and might as well at the same time to get better view of what the heck's going on, take off this one with all the 10 millimeter bolts and the clips as well. And then that'll give you a clear view of this entire area. Use a 12 millimeter to remove the e-brake cable from the control arm here. Use a 17 millimeter to remove this bolt here, holding the spindle to the control arm. Use a 14 millimeter to remove the bolt that holds the shock to the control arm. I'm gonna use a single spring compressor to just help me get enough compression on here to get the lower control arm out safely. You have a brake line and a ABS sensor. Now that you have all this and you have the spring compressed enough and you have these bolts out, the only two points of connection left is this point and this point here. So I'm gonna leave this one for the very last. So I'm gonna take this guy out. Then this control arm will drop enough for me to just pull this out with my hand. Then I'll take these out and drop the whole control arm. Well, I took everything out, but it's pretty tight here. So I use a pry bar here hold it with one hand and then pry it back and forth between these two spots and it should come right out now here's a part number for the driver side rear uh, control arm 52371-TR0-A03 here's a part number for the passenger rear 52370-TR0 Dash A03. The only thing it looks like we need to swap over is the rubber perch mount for the coil spring. Start off just like this. Put this one in loosely and then we're going to fold it up like so. And we're going to get these ones started by hand and then We'll use a rubber mallet to pound these guys into here. Now that bolt's in. We got these in loosely. Nothing's torqued down or anything. Then push the spring in the same way that it was when you took it out. Now we'll have to jack up the control arm to get everything over here to line up with the spring. As you're jacking it up, once the shock lines up, Go ahead and put that bolt in loosely, then keep jacking it up so you get this guy to line up in here. Be sure when putting in this alignment one that the uh, oblong shape matches on both sides. It's pointing down. You're going to need an alignment after this anyway, so don't worry about how it goes in. But now that you have all of these bolts in, you can go ahead and put this guy in, tighten that down. We're going to loosen the spring compressors and take them off. And then we will jack up the control arm as high as it'll go before it starts lifting the car. And then we will torque the hell out of these bolts here, 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 
and these guys up here. Go around, double check, everything is tight now. Gonna go and verify it all. Now, the other side, same exact steps as this side. So I'm not gonna go all the way through that, nor am I gonna go over how to put all the plastic crap back together because you know how to do that. You took it apart, so. That's really all there is to this. Um, so yeah, save some money, do it yourself if you got the tools. Now that you got both control arms in, you're just gonna put the car back together. Thanks for coming and checking out the Fat Guy Builds. Hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully this video saves you some money. Hit like, share, subscribe. You can check me on Patreon if you really want. Most people don't watch this end clip anyways, but thanks for watching. Till next time, wrench on. Thank you.